and hey laura how you doing on this wonderful good friday tgif i am doing so great you know it's just been i had my grandkids i was with them yesterday so i'm so excited we have so many things going on and we have an exciting show today we're excited and deb would you like me to start um, absolutely. I would love to. I just want to say a few things though before you do start, yeah. Lori. I just want to let everybody know that Lori is one of the most creative people I know. I lean on her for everything. I remember one time I asked her, do you remember when you tied all those bows for my Christmas yeah. tree? Those yeah. rose bows? I mean, she's just got all these things up her sleeve, you know, her creative accents. So she's going to share something that she does. We're talking traditions and Lori's got this tradition that I am excited to hear about because I want to learn how she coordinates this so that I can do this with my grandkids too. So with that, I want Lori, go ahead. I can't wait to see what you're going to show us. Oh, great. Well, you know, my favorite thing is to make cookies. That's my favorite pastime. And I've been making cookies with my kids and now my grandkids. But in fact, how long I've been making cookies with my kids is Tony was about two and a half years old and he'll be 34 this year. So I had the pleasure yesterday of being with my three grandkids, my, and, and two of my kids and my daughter-in-law and we made, we did our cookies. So what I do is I make a sugar cookie and I have my own recipe and I'm gonna put this down here so you're not gonna really see my face. Let me see if I can get this so you can see it. Sorry, there we go. Looks good. Yeah, we can see yeah, it. Okay, great. What I do is I make my, I have my own kind of sugar cookie that I've come up with myself, my own recipe. And what I have done is I will put the recipe on there, but the difference with mine is I don't put vanilla in my cookies. I put, um, I put uh, almond extract. Okay. And it gives it kind of a, um, gives a kind of a different kind of a flavor to it, almost like a shortbread cookie. I've had people say to me, in fact, my, my kids even like them without the frosting and I make them pretty thick. So I already made these already. And this is just an Easter egg. So years ago, I came up with this idea and I think I thought somewhere, so I can't really say it was totally my idea, is to make a paint to frost the cookies. And so mm -hmm. instead of using like, a toothpick or a popsicle stick. I actually use real paintbrushes. And I get these paintbrushes over at the dollar store. Wow. And I just wash them just like you would wash, wash them, you know, with soap and everything, get them clean. All right. And there's different sizes for what you're doing. And I'm going to show you how, first of all, how to do the paint. All right. Well, how I do the paint is I get some powdered sugar. I don't know if you can see that in a bowl. All right. I'm going to move this light down. I think this light is killing it. Um, and I put in a bowl. Okay. I don't put a whole lot in. Could you see that? Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. And what I do is I'm just using a bottle of water. You just put a little bit of water in there. Okay. Just drip it in a little bit. Okay. And then I stir it. Okay. This is hard to do when you're when we're you're using a camera no. could you see it okay we're doing yeah and i liked i love the visual because we're i would have put way too much water in already yeah, okay? I put so a little, I'm glad, well, yeah actually i might even uh -huh. put a little bit in here too much myself but i'll show you you what you do is then you just add some more powdered sugar you I, i'm gonna you make it like a paste okay, okay. Mm -hmm. so it's kind of pasty but it's not as runny as paint but it's in between a thick paste and watery paint okay okay mm -hmm. this is still kind of a little bit thick but you get that all together but we're going to put the food color in yet okay 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 when you're do this is just a hint when you're doing white you got to do it um, thicker because otherwise it comes out almost iridescent like it's you could see through it okay because okay. you use a lot of white okay white is a very popular color Okay, I'm still stirring it. There's still some powdered sugar in there. Okay, and it's kind of thick a little bit yet. Yeah, but I got to put the food coloring. I'm going to do yellow. So I'm just going to put, and I love a lot of color. So I don't spare on food coloring. I put a few drops of food coloring in there. And let's see, I'm making the yellow. 
Any specific food coloring that you like? Or well, just... I want to tell you something. I usually use the McCormick, but I bought some stuff offline. Uh, I had Jewel deliver stuff for me, and they gave me this as sub another one as substitute. And uh, we brought, we had it at Tony's house yesterday, and the blue and green were the same. Oh, okay. Remember, I've always had a good thing. I'm going to put a little bit more in because I want it to be really bright, and I need to get a little thinner, too, so. Yeah, so, and you know, and I'm gonna show you, I made pink. Now you can get pink food coloring, but um, you can use red and just make sure you use just a little bit. I'm gonna add a little tiny bit of water, not a lot. Like almost a drop, okay? Cause it's still a little thick. Okay, you see it? Nice. And as you, so you know, the longer it sits, it gets thicker. Uh huh. Okay. And I have found that if you have to walk away from it, you cover it with cellophane and you can go back and use it, but you might have to add some water. Too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to get just one more drop. I just want it to be so you could see it really good. Kind of hard just to add one drop. That's sometimes I'm sitting there adding more food, adding more powdered sugar to yeah. it. And I'm like, oh, I'll get this consistency eventually. This is perfect, actually. See, it's kind of oh yeah. It's not like it's not like paint, but it's not like total paste. Okay. Here I made pink earlier, and that was okay. with uh, let me get this out of the way. With um, that was with uh, the red. Okay? okay. Did you see me? Okay. Yep. Perfect. I got my screen is all right. So then you get one of the paint brushes, depending on how you want to do. Like the bigger ones, I use if I'm going to cover the whole cookie. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cover the whole cookie. I use a bigger one. I am going to just do half and half. So I'm. I have this one here. And I'll, okay, this one here is perfect actually. It's off the dollar store, so wow. it's not hard to get these. And I'm going to take the pink. I don't know if you can see it. And I'm going to like paint it on here, just like paint. You know what was amazing about it? My granddaughter, that is going to be two. She knows how to paint. You know, not perfect, but yeah. she was able to paint the cookies. No problem. That's awesome. See, she might have not got the whole thing on there. But this is what I'm going to do. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. See, what's nice about using the paintbrush, it's control. Yeah. And the reason why you don't want to do it too thin is because then it runs on the side. Right. You can even write letter your names on them, too, if you get a real thin Aww. paintbrush. That's so and cute. That, yes. I don't know. It looks kind of, I don't know if you could really see it. I got too many lights on, I think. There we go. Oh, that's better. Yeah, that helps. Yeah. Okay, it actually is crazy. It makes a difference that we can see you better now. Yeah, I mean, it's not perfect because I'm not doing it backwards, kind of, but. Yeah, that's okay. No, that's all right. All right, so, see? Yeah. All right, now let's do the yellow. But don't ever mix the paint brushes unless you wash them. So I tell my kids my, and my grandkids, you don't mix the brushes. So you make sure you have brushes for everybody and everything you want to do. This is okay. A little, we used them yesterday, so I'm going to just. Paint the top like a circle. Oh. I mean, if you're really an artist, you could draw pictures out of there. I mean, it's, you guys, it's very therapeutic. <laughs> oh, very. We loved it. We had so much fun yesterday, the two of us, uh, the, the, I should say the whole game. Now, this is the fun part. You put sprinkles on it if you want. Cute. And it's just sticks to the frosting. It doesn't stick to the Aww. it does it doesn't stick to the other parts of it. Yeah. So if you want to, and this is what I tell the kids too. This one we could do two different colors at a time because we're not going near them. But like say you want to fill in this with blue or something, this dries really quick quick. Mm -hmm. Put on a piece of foil or put on wax paper. It does and then when it's dry, then you can put another color on there. Just like you do when you're doing when you're painting. Okay. So, okay. So inquiring minds want to know how did you get that perfect shaped 
sugar cookies you have like a mold you use i have a mold and you know what i usually have a bunny one that i wanted to show you a body body head but i don't i can't find it and so i had we made yesterday butterflies Ooh. we made big big flowers the big flowers i had were like a big mold and what we Ooh. put in the middle was a big a small her uh reese's peanut butter cup Oh, and then we colored the flowers and then we put a little bit of frosting on the top of the Reese's peanut butter cup and put sprinkles on it. Oh my gosh. That's I crazy. Mean, there's so much you could do in there. And just so you know, there is black food coloring. Yeah. And so you could get the black food coloring and you could get a very, very thin brush and you can make whiskers and just wait till it dries, you know? Yeah. And then what we've done too with the bunnies is we've taken and we put the jelly bean on there for Aww. the nose. Oh. I mean, you can use all kinds of candies and stuff like that. Like, I'll just show you what my kids did yesterday. It was funny. Because they were having, Tony was having a blast because, you know, he's having, he's having it of the past, you know? He's, yeah. He yeah. did the whole cookie. Like, see, you can do a whole cookie, all right? Yeah. One color. I should have had one done ahead of time. No, I think it's better the visual. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you would do the whole, he, had, he did it really thick, okay? He was just being kind of obnoxious a little bit, but <laughs> he was like that. Okay? okay. And then he was putting jelly beans all over it. Oh, cute. He's putting jelly beans all over it. And then he did sprinkles. But you can let it sit and then do the blue lines in there. Just let it dry. And then you can do another color. And it's just a You can, like I said, you can write names on there. All kinds of stuff. I mean, your grandkids, your kids will love it. This is a tradition I've been doing for over 33 years. Jeez, and you know wow. what? And then the thing about it is the sugar cookie dough recipe that I came up with, with the almond extract. Yeah. It is so unique that the kids look forward to those cookies every year. Mm -hmm. So with that, Debbie, I am going to send it off to you because you have an amazing thing to show us. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, it, it does not hold a candle to you. Oh, I'm, sure <laughs> I'm serious. Okay. So like, I just going to share something that might be so silly, but, um, so whenever we're having any kind of event, mostly Easter. Okay. And I remember this as a little girl, we're talking a little bit about tradition. So we want to kind of just make you guys think about this because we want you to think about like how adorable that is with Lori, that she's doing it with her grandkids. And, you know, sometimes people are just so busy. They don't take the time to do stuff, you know, color Easter eggs, do all that fun mm -hmm. stuff you know so anyways in our family um you know our traditional easter dinner is ham some people like to have lamb some people have salmon some people have all kinds of stuff but we have ham and we do a jello mold so Yay, look at this guys no. tupperware let me just tell you this thing is probably as old as i am and it says tupperware on the bottom but anyways um we have this one jello mold and, and i know Lori's gonna uh put her information and i'm very curious for that recipe because that recipe looks awesome but we do the simplest gel mold and everybody loves it and there's so many variations to it and you can even do it if you are carb conscious that's the part that i love the best too so if you're going the sugary route you you just take two big big boxes of jello which i usually use cherry okay and then you take um a jar of mar maraschino cherries which i don't have right now but i'm going to get and then you also have water and then you have two packages eight ounce packages of cream cheese and mm -hmm. all you're going to do is you're going to mix your jello per the direction but you're going to leave out about a cup of water you're going to just do it a little bit less okay with the water and then you're going to take as um it cools down a little bit you're going to literally put the cream cheese in there and use beaters and beat it up so it's all just chucked up in there and then pour the maraschino cherries in there. It's simple, Simon. And then you put it into your jello mold. And for whatever reason, I have no idea why, but it separates. So it looks like you did two layers. Oh, that's and it just looks like you did all this work. So now you can you can substitute the flavor. 
you can do any flavor. You can put mandarin, you could do orange and put mandarin oranges. You can do bananas, you could do whatever. But my family loves cherries. So I was thinking to myself, I love to cut down on the sugar. So I'm going to do a regular traditional one, but I'm also going to do another one where I'm going to do sugar free jello cream cheese. So we're, we're at the low carb here and we're also at the low sugar. And then I'm going to take the cherries and I'm going to actually um, drain them and rinse them oh, and then really? put them in there. Yeah. And they always float to a certain place. So if you really didn't want to have the cherry, you don't have to, but at least it'll be a little bit low carb or um, like better. And I know that that'll be fine. So um, anyways, but also I just want to talk to everybody um, a little bit about um, one real quick thing that, and if you oh, also feel free to put your traditions down on the oh, comments yeah, please. because we love hearing this. You know, yes, this sure. idea that Lori did, I love it. I, I want to do this with Mariano. I think it will be so much fun, you know? But um, we're real excited because we're, 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 we're in all these different states, you know, and we're in two countries and, you know, we've got people in Italy, people in Finland, and I just want to run down the states real quick. And then I know Lori's got something exciting to talk about, about what we're going to do for next week. And, and oh, she'll yeah. share that with us. So um, I'm going to go down the states. We've got Illinois, of course. We've got Alabama, Georgia, Florida, Wisconsin, Michigan, Missouri, Iowa, Kentucky, Arizona, Tennessee. Texas, Ohio, California, and Kansas. We may be missing someone, but we want to talk about the power of the social media of what we're doing here. You know, we've been meeting and greeting with a lot of people. Lori and I've got so many people stacked up. We right now currently have people that will be interviewing all the way through almost the end of April, every Wednesday. And we're, we're just stoked about it because every single person brings something unique to this group. And every single person has something that everybody knows for either themselves or someone that would love to be able to know more about what that person does. And that person could be, you know, something and, and everything mostly is health orientated. Although we have a few things that are kind of crafty or kind of cool so it's it's really things that fit into wellness because our our mind and our body and our everything that we do together it's just you know it's a one package deal okay um being happy is 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 awesome and being able to share all these things so with that i just want to tell you we've got something up our sleeve for next week and i'm gonna have Lori. i want Lori, can you share with us what we're going to do because i'm real stoked about what you and i are going to do for our topic i'm so excited because this is something i always wanted to look into we're going to do traits of different personalities and what you know what the personalities are what the traits are and possibly how you could learn to understand somebody that he has a different personality because we're not all the same right i mean and we have to learn to get along with everybody and once we know just some of these traits we can understand a little bit more about who they are and what they're all about so stay tuned make sure you join next week because this is exciting for debbie and i and we're so happy that we're able to come in on fridays for friends helping friends it's one of my favorite things to do and i debbie and i have learned so much through all our stuff but today was just, I think, an exciting day for us mm -hmm. because we were able to bring something of our own. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I can't wait to show you the pictures of me and my my grandkids and my son yesterday when we were doing the cookies. It was just, it was just so wonderful. And it made my holiday. And you know what you can do too? You can make them all like Debbie does, and which I'm gonna do, but also you could do these cookies on Easter. Yeah, and you have the cookies out there already, like I did yesterday. I didn't make them with the kids. I just had them all made already. And then put all the stuff on, have the kids decorate them. And during the Easter, and before dinner. And everybody, even the fam, grandparents and everybody. And then they ate them for dessert. How's that? Well, with Love that, it. I want to say have a blessed Easter. And it's going to be beautiful here in the Chicago area. And Debbie, would you like to close us out? I absolutely, Laura. Thank you so much. And I love what you said. I'm going to tag onto that and just say, hey, Lori's going to put some pictures. Let's all put pictures. You know, if it's yeah, a silly Easter that. egg hunt thing, let's try to get to know everybody here. You know, people that are on this group, you know, we're trying to make it a, a great place that people feel like they want to invite other people to. Mm -hmm. And, you know, 
nothing's too silly nothing's you know yeah. what i'm saying you know it's just kind of fun we're um we're approaching we're, we're we just went over 421 we are we're you know i believe in the next day or two we'll hit 425 and remember a thousand's our goal and again thank you Lori, for all you did oh, and thank shared you, Gabby. i thank learned you for everything yeah. I, I learned so i i to be honest with you when i need a visual i don't know how a lot of you guys yeah, are I but too. i like a visual yeah, i like right. to you know, so that was really awesome. And with that, we're just going to say everybody's okay. be safe and blessed. Bye, everybody. Happy Easter. Happy Bye -bye. Easter. Take care. Bye-bye.